So TSPCA has been going for 26 years. It was founded on the 1st of April 1990 by Sharida and Rob Winters. Um, it started in Warner Beach and then they, found, they came and found land here, which we let for something like 100 or 90 years or whatever, and they bought the SPCA. We're a small SPCA, we're not like the Kloof and Durban SPCA. Um, we have 14 staff members and we have an awesome group of volunteers. Uh, we have our doggy walkers and we have our volunteers that run our thrift shops for us. We've got a thrift shop here, we've got a library and then we've also got a thrift shop in Scottborough because we basically cover the areas from the Umlas Canal all the way down to the northern suburbs of Hibberdeen and then 45 kilometres inland so we do a huge rural area as well. Khaleesi was brought into the Amanzum Toti SPCA um, by a lady who runs a doggy parlour. She's since sold the doggy parlour. Um, obviously she was in a dreadful state. She was full of sores. Her, her face was swollen. She had no hair. Her legs were swollen. And we just took one look at her and thought, oh God, we've got to take her to the vet and try and do something for this dog. Dr. Hull at uh, Doonside Veterinary Clinic um, on inspection with Khaleesi had to do a lot of skin scrapings and obviously check it with the ears as well, swabbing the ears um, with the amount of pussy scabbing sores on, on her almost 99% of her body, um, which made her incredibly sensitive to touch as well. So we had to handle her with care. Um, she was just so distraught and, and really just down, just not really even an animal. And we just saw that there was something in ours and we decided to take the treatment further with her. When we put her in the kennel, she went to the corner like a naughty child and just looked in the corner. And when I touched her, she didn't even want to look at us. She didn't want to be looked at. It was terrible, terrible, terrible. Just sadness in those eyes. It was terrible. She has no idea who we were and what we were doing to her. And for us to be able to actually just be gentle with her and try and pass on that, that, that touch that we're not going to hurt her. Um, because she must have been in, in, in pain with, with the scabbing and, and with the sensitive skin. Um, it's, you could liken it maybe to being burnt. Um, so we had to be very gentle with her and fortunately she, you know, she has improved. Um, Karen, who's one of our volunteers who's now going to adopt Khaleesi, started a uh, uh, I would say like a role on Facebook, like put, putting pictures, well I, I started, I put pictures of her and sort of, I like people to be aware of what we see every day and then Karen just got on top of that and people just started donating money to help with the vet, vet, vet fees. I'm blown away by the response that we got, it was shared, it went viral basically, it was shared over a thousand times. Um, donations came in from New Zealand, America and all over KZN and Johannesburg as well. Um, somebody even from Rotsi Rescue, Samantha, she sent a special bed for her. Akana has been sponsoring her food. Um, Promix has sponsored her, um, the, the creams and stuff for her skin. So it's been phenomenal. I think um, the total tally was just over 12,000 Rand that, that came in from donations. And we also, were, we inject her every week with Ecodectin, which helps with the mange. We bath her with um, a, a benzoyl peroxide shampoo every week. We dip it every week. Okay, we're dipping her in tactic dip. This also helps for the mange and obviously the ticks and the fleas, but mainly for the mange. She has to be dipped once a week. Um, she, we got um, a nice donation from Promix and she's on Ease Itch, um, she's on a probiotic and another powder for a nutrient powder. Um, Brevecto gave us a Brevecto for her which has also been licensed for Demodectic Mange as well so she's got one of those and it also helps with the ticks and fleas because her skin was so um, tender so you know just to uh, treat her with anything else you know with a poor one would have been really sore for her 
Um, and then we've got food from Akana. Akana have agreed to give her her nutrition until she gets adopted. And Akana is one of the best foods, so she's on a good, good food. So Khaleesi has another four weeks left of medical treatments. She's on Ectodex at the moment, as well as daily dips and creams for her skin. Um, so after that she'll be spayed and then she can go to her forever home. The community can definitely help the Amansom Tote SPCA by continuing to donate with funds and their time um, and just sharing the, you know, creating awareness around the plight of not just Khaleesi but they've got so many other dogs that also are in need here. Some people don't look at a dog without hair and think it's okay. Um, it's just, it's weird. Um, it's one of those things, those hurdles we've just got to carry on going over and making people aware that it's not right. You know, it's all about right nutrition, um, treating your dog for internal, external parasites. It's always going to be an ongoing, ongoing scenario. I don't think it's ever going to be a, a, a fight where we're ever going to win. I really feel without a lot of these organisations and, and private individuals doing like Project Dog, um, for Paws and a Tail, there's, there's so many other organisations, Animal Anti-Cruelty, that they are eyes and ears and they do assist us. They do in, in the little bits that they do and the big bits that they do. If they weren't there, we would be inundated as SBCAs. We really would. And we do have to accept the fact that there are people out there that are doing good. There are. You know, we, we, we have so many animals to feed, medicate, our, our vet bill is huge. Because we, we're, we're, we're not a wealthy society, um, we, have to, we can't afford to have a private, uh, our own vet here. We use the services of a private vet. So although we get welfare rates, our vet bill is huge. So it's so important for the community to get involved, to see what we do, and they can come and help with the fundraising. Um, I welcome everybody to come. I would like every single person in our town to come down to the SPCA and see what we do. And that's why it's, Khaleesi's been awesome to, to be able to now achieve something because she is improving. We have had other animals that we've rescued that, that just at the end of the day have had to be put down with cancer or something that we haven't picked up in the beginning. So, you know, she's not the first one, but it does really help with volunteers and their support. So Khaleesi, very special girl. When I first started visiting her, it was never my intention to bond with her as much as I have, but it's futile for me to resist. She's just crept into my heart and she'll be coming home with me when she's ready.